Next week, we install tiles in the shower and pick up the hardwood for our floors. We also take the bus in for a COF pre-inspection and finally change the registration over to Motorhome. We wanted to build a nice bathroom in our bus, so we splurged a bit on weight and installed beautiful tiles, making the shower quite a feature. Tiling day, so starting to put tiles on these walls in the shower today. Exciting, eh babe? Beery, you'll be fine. <laughs> serious business. Yeah, serious business. And how much far does that need to go? One square meter. It doesn't look like lots, does it? No. takes a lot longer than you think, yeah. but we're, I'm learning. We're both learning on the job, so yeah, I'm really happy. It looks great. It will come up amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Done, Mark. Yeah. Burning the midnight oil, yeah. Saturday night, mate. Yeah, Saturday night mission. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's looking good, so. A bit dramatic. It was. No idea whether. Pretty good. The space will just be grout. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then the trim on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. To make sure the tiles hold up to the movement of the bus, we braced our walls well and used a flexible epoxy grout that won't be as prone to cracking as normal grout might. Mixing the hardener into the epoxy grout. Scott's brother stopped by for a look -see just as we were finishing the tile grout and Bart's a master tiler. <laughs> <laughs> Not a master tiler. <laughs> yes, you are. So you're jumping in to help give us a hand. Thank you. It's because it's a nightmare and you need help. I know we do. <laughs> nice. Get it right straight away. Yeah. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like that forever. Yeah, you don't get a second chance with the stuff once it hardens up. Shower came out so good and we're super happy. <laughs> we're taking the bus in for a pre-inspection this week, so we want to make sure we make a good impression. We're working on getting the bus ready for CUF for the certificate of fitness. So we're giving it a little bit of a cut and polish. A little bit of love. So Scott is working on polishing the bus on the outside a little bit. I'm going to be cleaning all these windows and mind you we have like 18 of these and then the front and the back so yeah big job.
Yes. <laughs> Look at those clean windows from last night, darling. Yep. Cleaning windows in the dark. <laughs> there are a million little jobs on the list, and we're taking them off one by one. Latches for our engine box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Try and pull that now. Hi. It's my job. Tester guy. It's not moving. Good. Job done. Job done. We need a working sun visor for the driver to pass inspection. So the original screen is going back up this week too. Darling. Got it sorted. <laughs> yeah. so we're running around doing a million little errands before we had to take the bus in for COF tomorrow, the certificate of fitness. So got our diesel case diesel case sorted. That's always fun, spending money. So expensive. <laughs> it is expensive. Better well. We are keen to take the bus in for a COF pre-inspection to find out what needs fixing and also to finalise the registration change to motorhome. If I do a COF check on your bus now, yes. it's going to fail all those things. So a bit of a snack today, we're not going to be able to put the bus through the COF. And we're going to go get that sorted. Yeah. We take the bus on a wee mission to replace two windows where the safety stamps are either too faint to see or are missing. back we run the bus over a way bridge to get a new tier weight, the empty weight for our bus after all our modifications. <laughs> 7 ton 240 kgs yeah. and the original tier weight was Seven ton, three hundred and forty. Oh, yeah. So if we fill the petrol tank, we're at the same tier weight as the original. All right, and um, we have finished like the structural of our build. Yeah. 
worked out perfect. Yeah, nice. <laughs> At least we got the registration sorted and leap on the chance to collect our new tag. Boom. Now the occupants for Ford Firth Motorhome. Yep. Alright. New loading certificate. So what happened at the COF pre-inspection the other day was that a few of our windows are missing the safety glass stamp and you have to replace the glass. When they're going to put, the, put in the new glass in our door here, they managed to actually crack the glass. So we're just going to have to wait until next week, but no worries, we have plenty of work to do on the bus still. Um, this weekend we're going to be starting on lame floors. Exciting. We finally pick up the native hardwood for the floor and some of the walls. project is going to be laying this amazing forever beach wood floor on the bus so that's next time check it out see you then if you like this video push the like button and please subscribe to our channels and also turn on the little notification bell so you won't miss anything that we put out yeah and feel free to share this video with your friends also come along over to our facebook page reboot life we've also got a website rebootlife.me and of course, there's Instagram and other social media networks that you can follow us on. Yeah, we're going to link to all of that in the description for this video, so come and join us there. Better yet, come part of our Patreon crew. Yes. And this is where we get real support that can help towards us making better content and more of it for you. Thank you to all <laughs> our supporters. Yeah. You know, you guys are loyal and you rock. Yeah, thanks guys.